Hey everyone, if you have been following my channel, you would know that I am very bullish on IT and technology stocks. I strongly believe that the next set of multipackers would come from technology space. So in this video, I covered 5 companies that are working on future technologies and have great potential to create wealth for their shareholders. And this video is special since I'll be gifting all of you free shares of Apple. So don't miss this opportunity. Before we proceed, let me clarify that this video is only for education purpose and for long term investors. Please do your own research before investing your money. Alright, first two companies in my list had recently launched their IPO last year. So both are small cap companies and have just started their journey in Indian stock market. First company is MapMy India. Established in 1995, MapMy India is a data and technology product and platform company offering proprietary digital maps as a service, software as a service and platform as a service. It is India's leading provider of advanced digital maps, geospatial software and location based IoT technologies. Some of its clients include Maruti, Hyundai, Mahindra, Uber, Facebook, Apple, Airtel, PhonePay, SDFC Bank, Amazon, Alexa and the list goes on. Mapa India has a very strong promoter pedigree. Mr. Rakesh Verma is the chairman and MD of the company and an alumni of Bits Pilani in 1972. He has significant experience in the field of digital maps and geospatial information technology. His wife, Mrs. Rashmi Verma, is the co-founder and CTO of the company and she is an IIT Roorkee alumni of Batch 1977. Their son Rohan Verma is the CEO of the company. He has received his bachelor degree in electrical engineering from Stanford University and he did his MBA from London Business School. Again, a very prestigious college for masters. Now if you look at the future growth, first key growth driver is an increasing usage of mobile phone and internet penetration that would boost the usage of navigation system and digital maps. Then 5G is about to roll out and it would be the core driver for digitization in India. Then IoT market is growing rapidly and has applications across industries. Then future is all about electric autonomous and connected vehicles and digital maps and GPS navigation system are the core of these automobiles. There are already many use cases of digital maps in newest technology companies like commerce company, fintech companies, ride sharing companies, food delivery companies, logistic, IoT manufacturers etc. Then very important aspect is the government focus on Atmanirbhar Bharat where it is promoting the indigenous companies. Mapma India has recently entered into various MOUs with government organizations such as ISRO, Niti Aayog to provide Atmanirbhar or indigenous geospatial solutions and capabilities to Indian user. In short, the future is looking very bright. As far as financials are concerned, Mapma India revenues have grown from 135 crore in FI19 to 222 crore in trailing 12 months. Its profits have grown from 34 crore to 94 crore. Company is highly profitable with a ROE of 22.1% and return on capital employed of 29%. Company is virtually debt free with debt to equity of 0.04. Currently Mapma India is trading at levels of 1260 and has fallen from the highs of 1918. At current levels, it commands a P ratio of 75. It has a market cap of around 6800 crore. So a very small cap company with potential to grow multifold times. Second stock in my list is from defense sector. It's Data Pattern. Incorporated in 1998, Data Pattern is a defense and aerospace electronic solution provider. Its product category include radars like surveillance radar that can detect moving target, weather radar, wind radar, etc. The next category is underwater electronic communication system used for passive surveillance and intelligence gathering, data acquisition requirement of ocean resources like air and seawater temperature, salinity, wind speed, etc. The next category is avionics display used in the cockpits of planes and helicopter. Then one of the core business of the company has been the development of automated test equipment for critical aerospace requirement. ISRO requires various type of automated test equipment for development of its test benches for polar satellite launch vehicle and geostationary launch vehicle. If you look at the promoter, data pattern was incorporated by Srinivas Gopalan Rangarajan who is the chairman and MD of the company. He holds a master degree in industrial management from IIT Madras and has over three decades of experience in the business. Entire leadership of the company is highly experienced with an average experience of more than 20 years. If you look at the future growth, Indian defense industry is evolving into a self-sustaining industry with focus on indigenous manufacturers with themes like Make in India and Atmanirbhar Bharat. I think that this Atmanirbhar Bharat theme would create a huge opportunity for indigenous companies like Data Pattern. 
Currently, there is a lot of dependency on foreign countries in the defense and space sector and focusing on Atmanirbhar Bharat would open up huge opportunity in the future. Data Pattern intends to continue to expand its capabilities and product portfolio to enhance their offerings in the defense and aerospace sector. They also intend to bid for higher value projects that require significant usage of complex technologies. Now, as far as financials are concerned, in last five years, Data Pattern revenues have grown from 49 crore in FI18 to 342 crore in trailing 12 months. Its profits have grown from 1 crore to 98 crore. Company is highly profitable with a return on equity of 24% and ROCE of 33.4% and company is virtually debt free with debt to equity of 0.02. Currently data pattern is trading at levels of 865 and has fallen from the highs of 935. Now at current levels it commands a P ratio of 45. It has a market cap of 4300 crore. So again a very small cap company with potential to grow multiple times. Next two stocks in my list are from US market. When it comes to technology, you can't miss US stocks. Stocks like Apple, Google, Amazon, Microsoft are leaders in their sector, not only in the US, but all over the world. They have sheer dominance in their sector, which is next to impossible to replicate. For example, in mobile OS, you either have Android, which is from Google, or iOS, which is from Apple. Then for e-commerce, Amazon is the undisputed leader. Microsoft Office is leading on B2B side, with cloud-based Office 365 and even into gaming with Xbox and so on. All these top companies are investing heavily in R&D to develop the future technologies of the world. So it might look like these companies have already grown a lot, but trust me, there's still immense potential in these companies. Hence, every dip in these tech stock is worth buying. For example, Apple recently fell down from levels of $182 to $130. However, it quickly recovered to current levels of $167. Clearly, if you have utilized this fall as an opportunity, you would be sitting on good profits. Similarly, Google parent company Alphabet has fallen from highs of $151 to $101. Although there is some recovery, but it is still trading much below its highs. Its P ratio is just 22. That's a great opportunity to accumulate quality stocks like Alphabet for long-term wealth creation. Even Amazon has recovered more than 30% from its lows, but still worth accumulating on every dip. So that's about the blue chip stock in US market. I want to highlight two stocks that are not part of FANG list but have great potential for long term and worth adding on every dip. First US stock in my list is world's number one graphic card company. It is NVIDIA. Established in 1993, NVIDIA is world's biggest graphic card company which is used in gaming as well as professional work like video editing, data processing, etc. We all know about the artificial intelligence and IoT are the future of technology. But who is the brain of these technology? The graphic card of NVIDIA are the brain of these technologies that requires fast processing of data. For example, NVIDIA Drive platform is used in AI-driven autonomous car. If you look at the future, computer gaming is world's largest entertainment industry at a market cap of around $100 billion. And NVIDIA GeForce is its largest platform. GeForce GTX GPUs and GeForce Experience application transform PCs into powerful gaming machines. And its GameWorks software allows game developers to make games more realistic. This gaming industry would continue to grow and NVIDIA would benefit immensely from it. Not only this, graphic cards are the most important component for high performance computing including cloud computing and data centers. With the ever increasing volume of data, the demand for fast processing with graphic cards is continuously increasing. NVIDIA is the leader in its graphic card industry. NVIDIA revenues have jumped from $9.71 billion in FI18 to $26.91 billion by FI22. Its net profits have jumped from $3.05 billion to $9.75 billion. In last one year, NVIDIA share prices have fallen more than 50% and trading at a P ratio of 45. Now in the near term, there could be more challenges due to crypto crash as crypto mining required huge data processing that in turn created demand for NVIDIA graphic card. However, the slowdown in demand would be temporary. It is a great opportunity to systematically accumulate company like NVIDIA for long term. By the way, I analyze the fundamentals of US stocks using IND Money app. Let me show you how you can do it yourself. So when you visit IND Money on top, you'll find the search option where you can search stock, mutual fund, everything. So let's say you want to search Apple share. Here you can see this uh, stock option. Just click on this Apple link. Now you can see everything regarding the overview, performance, company financials, news and event uh, and all the data regarding Apple shares. So here, uh, this is the share price movement in last one week, one month, one year 
and then you can see key stats like one month return, three month and all of that. Then you can find company information. Then you can see analyst recommendations. So here based on 54 analyst rating, 81% have suggested buy on Apple. Then you can also see analyst forecast, then recommendation trend, then company financials like income, revenue, balance sheet for last five years. And then you can see all of other KPIs like profitability, management, income statement, future estimate. And if you scroll down further, you can see institutional holding as well as you can see the key highlights for the latest quarterly result for Apple as well as uh, all the news in which uh, Apple has been published recently. So you can use these data points to do a comprehensive analysis for any US stock using IND Money. I have three simple reasons for investment in US stocks. First reason is US companies are the leader in technology space. The kind of innovation happens in the US is unbeatable. Then second reason, it helps me diversify my wealth by having exposure outside Indian geography. And of course, there's another benefit of USD to INR appreciation. Especially now since the US stocks have fallen, it is a great opportunity to add them in systematic manner. Although when it comes to investing in direct US stocks, one concern most of us have is high account opening fee and very high commission and brokerage fee. But I've been using IND money to invest in US stocks where there is no commission on buying or selling stock, no account opening or maintenance fee, no paperwork to open the account, no flat charges to load your US stock account. IND money also has the best currency conversion rate. If you sign up on IND money from the description link and create and fund your US stock account, you'll get free Apple stocks worth rupees 500. So if you have not yet started US stock investment, then you can click on the description link and start your US stock investment journey with IND money. It also helps you invest in US stocks via SIP mode. You can set up weekly or monthly SIPs for as low as rupees 500. Now second US stock in my list with great potential is Adobe. Established in 1982, Adobe is one of world's biggest software as a service that is SaaS based company in the area of graphics, photography, animation, motion picture, etc. Some of the popular products of Adobe include Photoshop, Illustrator, Premiere Pro and so on. Another popular product of Adobe is Adobe PDF Reader. Now if you look at the future, creativity would be the most important form of storytelling. And that's where Adobe plays crucial role in digital creativity with its photo and video editing softwares. With the increase in internet penetration, digital marketing is getting bigger and bigger. Today, digital business and digital marketing is not an option. It is a must have thing. Adobe being the leader in digital content creation platform, it would continue to generate huge demand in the future. Now in the last 5 years, Adobe revenues have jumped from $7.3 billion in FI18 to $15.79 billion by FI22. Its pre-tax profits have jumped from $2.14 billion to $5.71 billion. In last 1 year, Adobe share price has fallen from highs of $6.99 to levels of $411 and now trading at a P ratio of 40. So again a good opportunity to add Adobe at current levels. Final stock in my list is from Indian market. It is among the leading company in 5G technology. That is Tata Communication. Incorporated in 1986, Tata Communication is a leading global communication company that offers voice, data and value added service to enterprises, carriers and retail consumers. It is among the world's largest providers of wholesale international voice services and operates one of the biggest global submarine cable networks. Tata Communication carries around 30% of world's internet routes and connects business to 80% of world's cloud giants and 4 out of 5 mobile subscribers. Now there are many growth drivers for Tata Communication. For example, with ever increasing device connected to internet, the number of IoT devices are expected to reach 25 billion by 2025. Then cloud computing is one big mega trend in digital world where companies are shifting to cloud. Then every new age company is building business around internet. Just imagine the kind of data that would generate around the world. Then there is huge investment around 5G technologies that would be a big game changer in how we can interact with data. Considering the huge future potential in telecommunication domain, Tata Communication should be a big beneficiary. Moreover, since it is a part of Tata Group, the leadership of the company is top notch with highest level of integrity and business ethics. So in this video, we discussed five stocks working on future technologies with strong fundamentals and bright future growth prospect that can create multi bag returns in the future. This list includes three Indian stocks, Map My India, Data Pattern and Tata Communication and two US stocks, NVIDIA and Adobe. 
Although both Nvidia and Adobe are already a multi-packer, but considering the immense growth potential, I expect them to continue generating great return along with companies like Apple, Alphabet, Amazon and so on. Friends, the future is all about digital and the next set of multi-packers will come from the companies leading the future technologies. Especially when there's a good correction in the technology stocks, it creates a great opportunity to accumulate them on dips. So you can diversify portfolio of new age technology companies from both Indian and US market. To invest in US stocks, you can check out IND Money app. I have provided the link in the description and comment section. More than 5 million Indians use this platform. So it is a very trustworthy platform. Not just monthly or weekly, but even daily investments are possible with IND Money's new feature Mini Save. With this, you can save and invest your spare change in US stocks automatically. No effort is required. And the money app will track all your expenses and automatically save the change from all your spends. When your saving reach rupees 1000, they will get invested in US stocks. Very useful feature, isn't it? So this is it for this video. I hope you'll find it useful. I'll see you next video. Till then, take care.